Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use oil objectives on the BX61 microscope. So the first thing you need to do is check if you're going to use oil objectives, whether they are actually on the microscope. So to do that, you can go either to the 60X or 100X position, or just look on the microscope itself and see if you can identify the 60X and 100X objectives on there if you need one of those too. Those are in these positions and you can see that right now they are both on the microscope. There's the 100X, there's the 60X, but that won't always be the case because uh, those objectives are swapped for other low magnification objectives that people sometimes need to use. So if you need to use one of the oil objectives, please contact the staff at least the day before you're coming in to use it so that we can make sure that those objectives are on the microscope. That is the case today. So let's say um, everything is fine, we have the objectives on, what precautions and, and, and guidelines do we need to follow when using these objectives? First of all, it's a good idea, if at all possible, to focus on the sample with a lower magnification objective first. Um, so for example, I have a slide on there, I can focus uh, and find what I want at 40x, or 20x, or 10x, or whatever, uh, and then slowly go up from 10 to 20 to 40. And once I have it in, for, in, in focus on the 40x, then and only then am I going to switch to the 60x. And the justification for this is that it's actually very hard to find things on a 60x unless you have a very dense field of cells because the field of view is very small. So a good strategy for finding things with a higher mag objective is to find them first with a lower mag objective. And once we have something of interest centered in the field of view by eye, then and only then should we switch to the 60x objective. So uh, that's the case right now. I just looked at it before I started this video and we have something in the field of view. So now what? So now we need to oil, apply oil to the sample because the oil objectives require oil to work properly. So uh, to do that, it's a good idea to escape to leave some room there in which to apply the oil. And you can see that there's not actually a lot of room there to do that. So I frequently just switch to the 4X position. Not because I'm gonna use the 4X, but just because it gives me more clearance to apply the oil. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The oil bottle is always uh, on the table. You can see if you tilt it, you can see the oil inside. I'm going to dip this little plastic spatula into the oil. And then I'm gonna apply that roughly in the position where I then want to place the objective. Okay. Now one key thing is that uh, I did this while well, in escape mode and the idea is because I don't want uh, when I switch to the 60x or 100x objective for those to swing in and possibly scrape across the objective as they move into position. So now what I'm going to do is switch to the 60x objective and you'll see there is a significant amount of clearance between the objective and the sample, and that's fine uh, because I'm in sort of this escape uh, condition. So now if I press the escape button again, so that's this one, the objective will move towards the sample and touch it. Now it won't crash into it because we were in focus at 40x, uh, and if you're in focus on one objective, then the other one is sort of going to be close to in focus. So let me do that. So you can see, uh, unfortunately, we're kind of on the edge of the slide, but um, that's just where the, this particular sample has something of interest. Um, so now we're ready to image. Once we're done imaging, um, I will show you how to clean uh, the objective and remove the sample safely without scratching it. One of the things that you should keep in mind is when you're switching between objectives, once you've gone onto the oil, you should always hit escape to leave some room before switching. And you should not use the, the 40X objective anymore because that objective gets so close to the sample uh, that it will likely be contaminated with oil. 
Uh, and to an extent, I would recommend you don't use the 20X either. So once you, once you have oil, it's sort of a one-way trip. Um, if you wanna go back, it's best to clean it off because else you'll get the other optics on the microscope dirty. So I'm gonna take a look at the sample um, and then I, uh, I'll show you how to clean up and remove the sample safely. Okay, so I'm done with imaging. So this, what we need to do now is to safely remove our sample and clean the objective. So to safely remove our sample, again, we're going to hit that escape button down here. That will move the sample away from the objective. We always wanna do this when using an oil objective because we don't wanna scrape the objective on the sample or vice versa. So I'm gonna move this out. You can see there's oil on the sample. I will clean that later. And now I need to clean the objective. So the way to do it, uh, in the current position, it's a little bit tricky to get to. So if you go to the 4X or the 100X, uh, sorry, I missed, there we go. This is the 4X, this is the 100X. I put the 60X in a position where I have a little bit more access. To clean that objective, we're going to use lens paper, which is here, and you can either use ethanol 100%, or 70%. Um, usually people use 100% ethanol, but I've just found that the 70% is a little bit more effective. Um, so since we now have 70% all over the lab uh, for disinfection, I recommend you use that to clean the objective. So I'm just going to take a piece of lens paper, fold it as you can see here. So let me just illustrate that. So the piece of lens paper has roughly a rectangle shape and you fold it in half lengthwise and half again. And I'm going to spray a little bit of 70% uh, ethanol on there. And then I'm going to use the part that doesn't have ethanol to get most of it off. And I can use the part that does have ethanol to get any traces of it off. You can also, if you prefer, this might be a little bit easier, you can use one of these dry to first get off most of it and then another of them with uh, ethanol 70 percent to take off any remaining oil so that's also um, a strategy and it'll probably be easier at least at first until you get used to getting in here and cleaning it and then we want to just dry it so that's pretty much it um, we can now clean the sample as well, which we can clean just with a Kim wipe. We don't need um, lens paper to clean the cover slip on the sample. Uh, and it's highly recommended to clean them. Don't leave them with oil because uh, then if you try to use them with another objective or on another microscope, that oil might dry out and cause all sorts of problems. So uh, take a moment to really make sure that you clean your samples nicely. Okay. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'm happy to help you out. And remember, contact the staff if you need one of these objectives since uh, they may not be on the system by default.